Σήμερα έχουμε την προβολή της ταινίας «Ο βασιλιάς της πίτσας» του Όλη Κρίστιαν Μάντσε. Ο σκηνοθέτης που είναι ήδη εδώ μαζί μας, στο τέλος θα απαντήσει σε τυχόν ερωτήσεις σας. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 52nd Thessaloniki International Film Festival. Today we have the screening of the movie «Pizza King» by Όλη Κρίστιαν Μάντσε. At the end, the director, who is already here with us, will answer to any of your questions. Mr. Μάντσε. Thank you. And hello. How are you doing? This is the first day of the festival, right? No, that last night. No, for last night that was the opening ceremony, right? That's the, anyway, I can't say how honored I am uh, that the Zeloniki Film Festival is not only showing my newest films, but also Pizza King. This one you're going to see. Um, it was presented. Uh, and the Thessal Thessaloniki Film Festival back then, and that was where I met for the first time, I'm sorry, uh, the Thessaloniki audience. I, I, we, 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 we arranged that I should stop talking sometimes, but I forgot, sorry. <laughs> Ε, θα δείξουν, στο φεστιβάλ θα δείξουμε όχι μόνο τις νέες ταινίες, αλλά και τις παλιές και συγκεκριμένη ο Βασιλιάς Πυρίς που δείτε και τώρα έχει ξαναπροβληθεί παλιότερο στο φεστιβάλ της Αλληνίκης. Οκ, και αυτό ήταν όταν έρθει η Θεσσαλονίκη Audience, που είναι μία από τις καλύτερες στο κόσμο. Είναι μια πρώτη εμπειρία. Είναι σημαντικό. Είναι φιλμ μπαφς, όλοι σας. Είναι καλύτερο. Είναι καλύτερο για τα φιλμς. Είναι πολύ σκέρι, βασικά, να κάνουμε τα Q&A. Όπω καταλαβαίνετε, σα έχει πενέψει στο καλύτερο κοινό λέει στη Θεσσαλονίκη, στα έξι μισά. Σα αρέσει πάρα πολύ ο κινηματογράφο. Yeah, and I say this for the first two films I did, I integrated the immigrant environment in Copenhagen. I have many friends from, from other countries. So this film is the second film in that row, talking about, I did a third one too, talking about the second generation immigrants of Denmark. Στα δύο συζητήτερες που έχω κάνει και σε αυτή εδώ πέρα θα δείτε ότι έχουν σημαντώσει μέσα τη ζωή των μεταναστών όπως αυτή είναι σήμερα στην Κοπενχάγη στη Δανία και η συγκεκριμένη ταινία περιλαμβάνει τη ζωή ατόμων δεύτερης γενιάς μεταναστών. And it's funny to see all the guys who were in the film back then here. They all went out in the world and did something with their lives. Some of them became famous actors in Denmark. Και είναι πολύ αστείο, θα το δείτε κι εσεί και πολλοί από του οποίου που συμμετέχουν στην ταινία κατάφεραν να κάνουν κάτι σημαντικό στη ζωή του. Κάποιοι από αυτού μάλιστα έχουν γίνει και ηθοποιοί. And some of them became politicians. Και πολιτικοί. Yeah, I know you don't like politicians these days, but anyway. Ξέρω ότι αυτή την περίοδο δεν είστε και τόσο φίλοι με του πολιτικού, αλλά τι να κάνετε. So, yeah, so they all made something from themselves, that's good. And I'll just want to say, last night I had a dream. I dreamt that I was screening Pizza King for you today. And the projectionist was was like putting the the reels wrongly together. The reels, you know, the the film comes on reels. One, two, three, four, five. The real, real, the reels, reels of there, you know. And he was showing one, three, five, two. And I, in the dream, I was thinking, wow, this is better. So that means the film that you've been doing, it never leaves you still under your skin. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoy. How much time did you need for the, all the feelings? How the, much time did they last? To do the film? To shoot it? And to, it, it, it it's, it, we only we shot it in five weeks, and it's it, it's a very low budget movie uh, with eight hundred thousand uh, dollars. I did it on based on 
a, a research that was quite quite big. Γυρίστηκε σε πέντε μόνοι σε εβδομάδε. Είναι χαμηλικό του σε ταινία. Μα έχει μόνο 8.000 δολάρια και βασίστηκε σε μία έρευνα για την ταινία αυτή. So we went out. I, I wrote it with one of the actors in the film, the guy who plays Bobby. Uh, he later, he now, he's now one of the very famous actors in Denmark. Τη γύρισα μαζί με τον Bobby που είδατε και στην ταινία. Είναι πολύ γνωστό η τοπία τώρα στην ταινία. So we went out to a lot of families and said, please tell us. A story, something from your life, something interesting. So some some people told about the conflict between cultures. Some people told about how it is growing up as a young young person being split between the two cultures. Μας μίλησαν για τη σύγκρουση αυτή των πολιτισμών, πώς είναι να μεγαλώνεις μέσα σε δύο περιβάλλοντα διαφορετικά πολιτιστικά. And someone told about their wedding. And somebody told about how it was, you know, having sex for the first time, but we were not allowed to tell the parents. So they told about everything. And when we did, maybe, have, when we had done, maybe, you know, we talked to maybe a hundred different families of people. It's very good. <laughs> Μας είπανε πολλά πράγματα, μιλήσαμε σχεδόν με κατά διαφορετικές οικογένειες. Then we just sort of gathered together, finding out what was the real, what is the temperature right now. That is, it's a while ago, but what's the temperature now in this, in this young environment. Μας συγκεντρώσαμε όλα αυτά λοιπόν και προσπαθήσαμε να βρούμε ποιος είναι ο πραγματικός παλμός, αυτός που αντιστοιχεί ακόμη και σήμερα. So that's what, and Pizza King was actually a very famous pizzeria where they used to hang out. And so we started writing the film, and I would say it took our all together took like maybe a year, something like that. But the problem came after the film. Then we had problems. Because no cinema in Denmark wanted to show the movie. They were very afraid of the riots because they thought that if they would let in like all the second generation immigrants, they would have knife stabbings and riots in the cinema. So after the film was finished, it took one and a half year before it opened, actually opened in Denmark. Μετά από μισό χρόνο, τέλο πάντων, καταφέραμε να προβάλλουμε την ταινία στη Δανία. And in the end, they made a compromise, saying that they would show the Pizza King, but on different times than the other films, so that the Arabs and the Turks and what would not meet the Danish audience, they would be going out when they were going so. Και αποφασίσαν, κάναμε ένα συμβασμό, αποφασίσαν να δείχνουν ε, την ταινία σε διαφορετικέ ε, ώρε, έτσι ώστε να μπαίνουν οι Άραβε Τούρκοι να την παρακολουθούν, να βγαίνουν έξω, να μπαίνουν ε, οι Λιπί. So that's pretty lame. <laughs> And it was quite a big controversy about the film, because it was the first really, you know, first film about, you know, the small time hustling crime, second generation. Προκάλεσε μια διαμάχη γιατί ήταν το πρώτο ουσιαστικά, η πρώτη ουσιαστικά ταινία που μιλούσε για μετανάστες δεύτερης uh, γενιάς. And the, and the, uh, some of the guys, some people thought, I mean the, the left wing orientation in Denmark thought it was too tough, too hard. Τα αριστερά κόμματα θεώρησαν ότι ήταν μια πολύ σκληρή ταινία. And the, 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 really, the really criminal immigrant, second generation guy, they thought it was too weak. You know, they should have been much more blood and much more fire. Because this is not how our life is. Our life is much tougher, is it? So everybody used the film for their own, you know, from their own perspective. So, any questions? In which city did the films took place? Copenhagen. Copenhagen. 
Yeah. We have like this. We have a. I mean, I mean, fifteen percent of the population in Denmark is from Middle East areas, so we do have this uh, conflict going on right now. The rockers, the Hell's Angels, are fighting the immigrant gangs. So right now it's not. Um, so it's, it's not. And right now there's a war in Copenhagen where they shoot each other all the time. Το 15% του πληθυσμού τη Κοπενχάγη αποτελείται από μετανάστε από τη Μέση Ανατολή και αυτή τη στιγμή υπάρχουν εξεγέρσει, υπάρχουν ανατραχέ στην πόλη, υπάρχουν ομάδε που ε, βρίσκονται σε πόλεμο μεταξύ του. Έχουμε προβλήματα. Σχετικά με την αγορά του ναυτικού. Κάποιο άλλο, ναι. Καταρχά, συγχαρητήρια για την ταινία. Αυτό που θέλω να ρωτήσω, ε, είδα στου αγγλικού υπότιτλου ότι αναφέρει την Κριστιανία και στα ελληνικά μεταφράστηκε σαν μαγαζί ή κάποιο στέκει. Η Κριστιανία αναφέρεται στον, στην κατάληψη που υπάρχει στην Κοπενχάγη ή είναι κα, ή, πώς το έχει στείλει. Έχει πάει στην ταινία, ρώτησε, όχι. Αν έχει πάει στην ταινία, ρωτάει. Ναι. Denmark, uh, in, you say Christiania in yeah. English, but here in Greek we translate it as a place where uh, all these people um, stick around. What is Christiania? Ah, yes. But did you go to Denmark without visiting Christiania? Uh, I went, I, I visited Christiania, but in the Greek subtitles it says just a, a, a bar, something like this. Oh, that's a mistake. That's yes, a mistake. It, yeah. Christian, well, I, Christiania, is, Christiania is what we it's known as a free, you know this it's it's a free it's a free environment in Copenhagen they don't pay tax they don't pay rent they just stay there they occupied the area in 1973 yes i know but in the yeah. greek subtitles it, yeah. uh... I'm just to say. Uh, Είναι ένα μέρο τέλο πάντων τη Χριστιανία στην Κοπενχάγη όπου που υπάρχουν που πάνε μετανάστε που συχνάζουν, δεν πληρώνουν νίκιο, μπορούν να κάνουν ό,τι θέλουν. Αυτό, αν μεταφράστηκε λάθο, όχι λάθο, απλά προσπάθησαν να το δώσουν. And the drug market is out there as well. Mostly hashish and pot. Not so many hard drugs. But anyway, it's very. I think it's actually. What I heard, I read a couple of weeks ago, it's grossing 1 billion euros every year in hash trade. That's a lot. Ε, τα, τα κέρδη από, από τι πωλήσει ναρκωτικών χασίσει συγκεκριμένα ε, στην περιοχή εκεί πέρα φτάνουν στο 1 δισεκατομμύριο πλέον. So it's a part of the national economics. Your Greek is not good, you should hear mine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in Italy I teach ancient Greek, oh, but okay. it, uh, <laughs> it's not good for this occasion. Uh, no, your movie is very interesting, and um, I want to ask uh, two questions. The first one is, uh, uh, if you was uh, inspired by two American movies, uh, Fighting Club uh, and uh, The Fighter, you know, because uh, there is, uh, uh, in uh, bo boxing, you know, the, the metaphor of the life as a uh, bo uh, boxer uh, um, fight. And the third, uh, the second one, um, uh, I, I, uh, I don't know very well uh, Danish uh, movie. I just uh, watched uh, The Brotherhood. And uh, what uh, is uh, make me astonished is that the sense of violence that uh, I saw in these two movies from Denmark. But I don't know, maybe it's uh, some co coincidence. I don't know, but it's just uh, my feeling as a... Uh, You're very violent. Yeah. That's, that's why. <laughs> violent nation. Okay, uh, tonight, actually, tonight at 8.30 uh, at the Olympian, they will show my newest film, which is called Super Classico, and it's a comedy, and there's no violence. They just slap each other a little on the head, not much, very, very little. The question was, if you were interested in the film, the film, the film, the film, the film, Με βία και όλα τα συναφή, αν είναι σύντομη που και αυτή έχει βία, και ο Σκεφτέ θα πάει ότι σήμερα στο Λίμπιο, στι 8.30 είναι η νέα του ταινία, το Super Classic, που είναι κομμωδία. And it's not inspired by the films you mentioned because this film is much older. Οπότε δεν έχω πνευστεί από τα film που είπατε, είναι πιο παλιό το δικό μου. 
this is this is not really a modern film. It's a, it is it, I mean, it's, uh, when it came out it was modern. It's, it's more inspired like from an American New Wave. There's Martin Scorsese, you know, Mean Streets, all these very early American New Wave. This, this is where I normally would take my inspiration or my or my some of my inspiration. I really admire the new generations, the new wave in U.S. from in the in the 70s and the, the late 60s. Φυσικά έχω εμπνευστεί και εγώ από το νέο κύμα που επικρατούσε στην Αμερική στη δεκαετία του 70 και του 60. Okay, so it was before Dogma actually also, even though it's so it's kind of you know, a pre-Dogma movie in a way. Οπότε η δική μου ταινία ήταν πιο παλιά, είναι σαν μια προ-ταινία από αυτές που αναφέρετε εσείς. Σας ευχαριστούμε πάρα πολύ.